We are under a slight risk for severe storms across most of southeastern Michigan today. So you know this song and dance slight risk level two out of five levels, but the threats always fluctuate. And so today's risk includes some gusty winds, but also some flooding. Now our hail risk could clip our western counties, but if you get farther on the east side, Detroit up towards Port Huron, not as much of a threat heading into the evening. But that flood threat that I was talking about, well, we're under a flood watch as of 4 o'clock this afternoon until 6 a.m. tomorrow for all the counties that are also under the air quality alert today. So this does not include Genesee, Lapeer, or Sanilac counties. We could end up picking up more than an inch of rain in some locations, and so we'll be monitoring that as we head into tomorrow. But we have the threat for uprooted trees. When you factor in gusty winds and a saturated ground, we have picked up more than five inches of rain so far this month. And so we have a two inch surplus. Think about when you pluck weeds out of the ground after it rains and it's a lot easier. It's kind of that same concept that these large trees actually have shallow roots, maybe even less than two feet into the ground. And with those big tree canopies that acts like a sail. So you get those wind gusts this evening. We could see some more uprooted trees given that we have more rain in the forecast. Air quality alert will last until midnight tonight just hot, sticky and stagnant out there. Clouds and radar showing that we do have a little bit of moisture that's sweeping our southern counties, but the bulk of the storms are down to our south. So here's a look at exact track 40 from Hamburg to Clinton. Light sprinkles or light showers, and then we have a few of those light showers being picked up in portions of Monroe County. Downtown Detroit right now says it's sunny, but we have that haze, so it is just kind of soupy looking outside. 85 degrees out there, and it feels that way as well with dew points in the mid 70s. So temperatures right now are in the 80s, upper 70s across the area and our relative humidity. Some areas have humidity upward of the 80 percentile, 97 percent in gross yield. It's the air you can wear, but this will be getting much better by the time we get to Sunday. We have 50 degree dew points, which that indicates drier, more comfortable conditions. So hot and humid today we will top out in the upper 80s right around 90 with those storm chances increasing probably after about four or five o'clock this evening. Let's take you through that timeline. So we start to see this bubble up for some of our communities kind of scattered by five o'clock as we take you towards seven. We could have some of those torrential rains pushing through the area. Much more widespread though as you get closer to midnight and this is going to take us into the early morning hours before sunrise on Saturday. I've stopped the clock at 1 a.m. and then this pushes up into the thumb and kind of out of the way by three, but we'll have a few little remnant sprinkles just right around the sunrise time on Saturday. Otherwise drying out, we have cooler conditions in the 80s for the upcoming weekend and then next week, well, get outside and enjoy it. We'll be a little more comfortable. Low 80s with a mix of sun and clouds.